Welcome to JC Pennies. You are about to see drone footage of a walkthrough for the vaccination clinic. Right here at this front table, you will see extra forms of paperwork. Uh, if you are not able to print your paperwork off at home, this is where they'll keep extra copies for you. If you are able to print paperwork at home, please go to vaccinatesalinecountyks.com slash paperwork to get access to that. Please also remember not to come in here until 15 minutes before your scheduled appointment. If you have mobility issues, please let the front desk people know and they will assist you by either closer seating or a wheelchair. Once you have handed in your paperwork signed, this is where you will wait. We're using a letter system and so we will give 10 letter A's, 10 letter B's, so on and so forth, so that we can avoid having everybody wait in long lines. When you hear the letter called, that matches your card, you will stand up and go towards that start line right there to get in line to be checked in and to have copies front and back of your insurance card made. You're also welcome to make copies of your insurance card before and it will help speed up the process a little bit. If you require a support person, you are welcome to bring one person to your appointment with you. We have made the waiting room comply with social distancing guidelines and are requiring masks throughout the building, as well as have hand sanitizer at all of the sites that you will be stopping at so that you can stock up and grab your own personal bottle. We are starting to approach the check-in counter. The check-in counter will have folks ready uh, to check in for your appointment as well as to help schedule your second dose should you be coming for your first dose appointment. Once you are checked in, you will go to this line to talk with the nurse. And this is where you can raise any concerns you might have about allergies or allergic reactions or anaphylaxis you have had in the past. And she will be able to further advise you about your vaccination. Here we are still seeing the red spacers on the floor so that you can see the social distancing guidelines that are being observed in all of the lines on site. If you're not able to wait in line for a long time, just as a reminder, you are able to talk to any of the staff members helping, and they are more than happy to find ways to assist you. All right, that is where the nurse will be sitting to ask you questions for allergies. Once she has talked with you, you are going to go back to one of the four vaccination stations. You will take one of these chairs, talk to the nurse about which arm you would like to receive your vaccine in, and from there, it's just like any other vaccination. You will also start to see purple arrows on the floor. These arrows will guide you throughout the entire process through the building. Once you have received your shot, you will be directed to go and wait in the waiting room for at least 15 minutes to self-observe surfer symptoms. If you have had allergic reactions to medications in the past, you may be asked to wait for observation for up to 30 minutes. There are uh, medical professionals on site during every vaccination appointment, so if you have any concerns or notice any type of reaction, there is a medical professional available to assist you. Once you have waited your 15 minutes, your appointment is over and all you need to do is check out. At this checkout station, you are going to receive your vaccination card, or if it's your second dose, you will be receiving your confirmation that you have received that second dose. From here, there is an exit in through Central Mall. If you have mobility needs, please exit through the handicapped exit. We want to give a big thank you to Central Mall for hosting the vaccine space. <laughs>